1997, he fought in Evansville, Indiana, hook and shoot one, the very first wow. hook and shoot. Mm -hmm. How many fights do you think you had before this that are not on record? Um, eight, maybe eight to ten. So. Ooh. Yeah. Where were those fights at? Yeah. <laughs> Get a, it was at a club. <laughs> Or at what state? I mean, was it in Minnesota? It was in Minnesota, yeah. It wouldn't have been <laughs> sanctioned, though. It would not have been entirely legal at the time. <laughs> so so but, this was kind of like an underground circuit at this time. You know, the internet really wasn't what it is today. So in order to get involved with Hook and Shoot One, you're in Minnesota. This is southern mm -hmm. tip of, of Indiana. How mm -hmm. does that connection happen? Um. Miguel, I, I mean, maybe in the process, I, I don't know if Greg, because I was tr training at that point, I think at Greg's. So I don't know if that came, that actually might have came through Rankin because I ran into Rankin at the cold house fights. And then after mm -hmm. running into him there, he started training at the academy. And I think he was trying to find the fights in different places. So it could have been through him or it could have been through Greg in all honesty. Um, so, cause at that point I, I was looking at doing before the cold house fights and before hook and shoot, I was looking to do some leg kick fights around. I think I'd possibly done, I did one in uh, uh, Milwaukee and ended up fighting Golden Glove boxing champion from New York, which wasn't a good idea, but um, <laughs> I survived. I did not win. <laughs> so, but I think at that point, I don't even, I don't even think I had sparred yet. I, I, I just, and it was with leg pads and nah, not a good idea. Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.